Good, we're live. Hi, we're live. So I needed Miley to figure that out. So we're live, it's 11 o'clock as promised. Here we are live making guacamole. Uh, today, I have Miley with me, it's Miley Rose. She's usually my camera person, but today we've got it taped to a chair so she could be in the video with us. So I don't know if anybody will actually log on with us or if we are going to just have you play it back and, and make guacamole someday. But it, it's become one of my favorite things to do uh, is make guacamole and eat it. Um, and I promised that I would never turn into my mother, yet here I am wearing a guacamole shirt, making guacamole in a Facebook Live video. So today's the day, I guess, that that's happened. So, um, ingredients. If you didn't get the ingredients that we posted, your ingredients for today are gonna be three avocados. You're gonna need a jalapeno pepper, uh, two limes or lime juice, cilantro, tomato, red onion, salt, pepper, Minced garlic, a lot of people like to use fresh garlic. I am not one of them because I'm lazy, so I buy this. Um, so we did a lot of the prep work so that we didn't have to stand here and cut things up um, and take up way too much time doing that. And so that being said, did I miss anything? No. Okay, so the first thing you do is you take two of your three avocados, you cut them up. So me and Miley took the liberty of putting them in the bowl already cut up. So with the first two, you're gonna mash them up. So you're gonna make, you know, almost like, like a mayonnaise out of them, kind of. Just chop them up. Mm -hmm. And then this is like, so when we're doing this, this becomes like that awkward silence part where you're just standing here, chopping things up. So, so one of my avocados was actually a little on the not so ripe side. So um, yeah, so that's what ends up happening is they're hard. See, you can see my muscles working. That's when I chop up my avocados, right Miley? Mm -hmm. So I almost feel like you could be doing this as well because you're like my assistant and you're not doing anything. So uh, my advice is don't get an assistant that doesn't do anything. Did you so, add your salt and pepper? A lot of times during this process, when you're kind of mashing up your avocados, if you put, we're banging elbows, <laughs> if you put your salt on it, it kind of helps make them a little uh, easier to mash because the salt kind of breaks down the avocado. I don't know if that's true, but it sounds really good. Avocados, by the way, very good for you, right? Um, healthy fat. I don't know all the statistics because I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist, but Google it. Avocados, good for you. So while Miley's doing that, I'm going to cut up the last avocado, the third avocado. Um, and the reason I kind of waited is because I'm not prepared. I know I'm choking. They keep going. <clears throat> so the reason I waited is because sometimes people don't know how to cut up avocados. I was one of those people. And I always made a mess out of it. So we just cut it around like you would anything else. Cut it open. Look at that avocado. Happy little home. I don't know why I said that either. So then you're going to cut it. Be careful not to cut through and stab your hand, depending on how um, sharp your knife is. And Miley's gonna try to read any type of comments or to see who logged on. But just so you all know, you all, all one of you, um, I can't get close enough to the camera to read comments. So if anybody actually did ask a question, I don't know that I will be able to answer it. Spoon. Just says people are watching. Is my Aunt Kim watching? My beautiful, beautiful Aunt Kimberly Bebu. Well, if you are Aunt Kim, hi. Greetings from Massachusetts. So now you don't mash. So your third avocado, you don't mash. So um, the idea here is to have like an avocado paste for your base and then chunks of avocado in your guacamole because 
You don't want just a pasty one, do you? No. So again, cut, cut, cut. Don't cut through your hand because it hurts. We've all done it. Or I have anyway. So be careful not to cut your child too if they're standing next to you. We've all done it. Okay, so again, we scoop them. Scoop out the beautiful avocado, right? So now we'll just kind of smooth it over, move it around so you don't have too big a chunks. But there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so there we are. So three avocados, two mashed, one not. Salt and pepper. There is a measurement for this. I have my recipe. So it says a half a teaspoon of salt. I don't measure salt. Let's put it in. Pepper. I can't have too much flat cracked pepper, right? My kids make it better. So I have this daughter, who's not a teenager quite yet, who loves to help and be on camera. I have another daughter who is a teenager who is sitting behind the camera, currently making fun of me. It's fine. Um, we all do it. So we're gonna stir it around one more time. Okay, again, I took the liberty of cutting up one quarter of a cup of red onion. Very small. If you love onion, leave it big. Okay, tomatoes. So you're going to cut up your tomatoes in small chunks. You're going to spoon out all the wet seeds chunks. So you just want little, uh, you know, little chunks of tomatoes. Now I've stuck my hand in it. So hopefully none of you are eating my guacamole. I promise I don't I stick am. my hands in food when I have company. Wash, dry. Okay, so that's in there. Mix it up. And kind of what I do is every time I mix, let's add a little salt. Add a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Is that a dinosaur? I can. I am hilarious. I take after somebody I know. Okay, so then, now we've got in this little thing that I think one of my kids probably stole from, like, Outback Steakhouse or something. It had, like, the butter in it. Uh, we've got the garlic. And again, I'll refer to the measurements for you guys, but I don't measure. So my garlic, one teaspoon garlic. I also have cilantro, one tablespoon. I also have the jalapeno, one tablespoon. If you like it hot, put in more. I don't. So everything's going in. Mm. Boom. First boom. It's there in. will be more. There will be more boom. All right. So this looks awesome. Show the camera. Show the camera. Mm, so far, so good. Sounds good. Now, this is the fun part. So lime juice uh, three tablespoons. So I've measured it before when I made it. It's usually about a lime and a half. Um, I use real limes because I'm not lazy when it comes to this part. A lot of times you can just get lime juice and use that straight out of the bottle. I'm always backing up. I wonder if I have a habit of squirting. Well, I used to wipe my juice. eyes. Suck it up, buttercup. Mm, sure. Lime juice in the eye. I'm sure you've had worse. So we're squeezing it in. So, so this is kind of like a workout. So if you haven't worked out yet today and you really want an arm workout, just squeeze your lives. Watch this girl try now. <laughs> weak. I mean, weak at best. I can't. Let me help you. Oh, this one's actually hard <laughs> as I made fun of you. Okay, so again, lime juice. Is one of those things you can kind of play with if you want a little more or a little less. Oh my goodness. You know, next time we do this, let's not use like metal on metal kind of thing. It sounds awful. Do you want this one? No, not yet. So, now you're at the part. We've got everything in. We are stirred. I do not like the sound of that. Making a mess. Let me use this. Going in spatula style. Yummy, yum. Right? Now, this is the part where you can taste it and decide if you want more salt, more pepper. 
I always end up putting in more salt, so I'm gonna do it. Pepper, somebody once told me you can't have too much pepper. Nobody told me that, it was me. All right. Now, are you ready? I got my taste tester. Oh, I forgot to mention, have some chips, whatever your favorite kind is. Now we go heavy. Then there you have it. Look at the look on her face. That the looks don't lie. Does it need more salt though, for real? Okay. It's pretty salty. So now, if anybody shops at um, the Lakeside LTD Commodities, you can get these cute little um, serving dishes. My son actually shops there. He told me yesterday. So look at that. Presentations, everything, right? There it is. Oh. So presentation, so say you're having company, right? So you take the little cilantro Wait. and you boom it. Whoa. No, see. Someone wants to see. I can. I can. We're going to have to charge for that. You want to show in the bowl too? The lime. Look at this. Oh. I'm coming close. I'm coming close. It's extreme close. Oh my goodness, who wouldn't want to eat that? I'm gonna eat it. Mm -hmm. So, I guess that's it. So that's really it, that was easy. And we'll be graduating with our little cooking show and we'll be doing things um, that we actually cook because right now it's just like a chopping show. So, uh, so that's it. So you guys can watch this video back. You can make guacamole. If you actually want a copy of the printed out recipe, let me know and I'll take a picture of it and I'll post it. This dish? I don't know. I bought this a long time ago, but if you're talking about this, I got this from Lakeside. So it's like lakeside.com, I believe. Um, and this I bought years and years and years ago um, in a store in North Adams that no longer exists. Um, so that's it. So anybody can uh, message me if they want the recipe or call me or whatever, and, and, and I'll give it to you because these recipes are not a secret. Uh, and I'd also like to say these recipes are not my own either like these are recipes I pull off the internet or find in a cookbook or like I don't make it up so uh so they're not my recipes so uh that's it um I think our the next thing we make oh and if you guys have any ideas of something that we should make let us know like message us or comment or write what you think we should make I'm thinking monkey bread next what do you guys think mm -hmm. anyways blessings on your day bye